Well, Graham, what did you make of that? Um, I thought we were very good for the first 45 minutes, to be honest. Um, we had some really good moments, and then you're asking for that little bit of quality. You're asking for us to put the ball in the net. Um, but we were really we looked a real threat. We looked really dangerous. And we had some really, really good moments, really good, some good real patterns that we put together. Um, we've been working hard on. Um, it was really pleasing the first 45 minutes. The second half uh, was a non-event for us. Uh, Rodham made a lot of changes. They upped the tempo. They played more crisp, sharper passing, more incisive movement, and it hurt us. It cut us, it cut us up a little bit at, at times. And then we uh, we go to pot. Um, we go to pot with our discipline, whereby you start pulling people and dragging people down. And if you if you if you pull people down on the edge of your own box at this level, championship level, you're going to get hurt. You're going to get punished. So um, disappointing second half, but really really pleasing first half. Overall, then, where is this squad at as we head closer to the season? And before that, next Saturday, first round action in the Carabao Cup away at Preston. Um, well, we're not ready. We're not ready for Preston. I think that's clear. That's planned. That's obvious. We're not ready for Preston. We're preparing. We were obviously preparing for a September the 12th uh, fixture. We uh, then get the information that our game against Preston was on the 5th um, of September. So, so lo and behold, 5th of the 12th of September, all of a sudden the EFL and their wisdom decide to uh, decide to insist on uh, on us playing next Saturday. Um, we're not nowhere near ready. The lads have. That's that's. Uh, Four of them, I think today four or five of them has played 90 minutes and that's the first 90 minutes. So therefore I've, I've a squad of probably a, another 12, 14 players who haven't gotten anywhere near 90 minutes. So um, it, it's, it's, it's not nice, it's not a nice scenario to be in. You're given, uh, you're given a date, you're given a timeline and to bring that forward is running the risk of injury and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's not ideal. But like I say, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get up, we'll get on with it, um, we're adaptable. We'll go across and we'll give, a, we'll give a good account of ourselves. Um, we, we, we are a fit, fit group of players, but it's just that match sharpness that we're, we're, we're missing. Um, so listen, advantage Preston. Yes, they are a championship team, so I can see why the, the AFL want to, uh, want to look after them and not ourselves. So just on the back of that then, in a bit more detail, how would you assess this, the, uh, the fitness of the squad and also on the whole, the balance? Fitness, we're getting there. We're building. We're still three weeks out uh, between now and the, uh, the between now and the 12th of September. So we're building. We're getting there. They will need another couple of 90 minutes under the belt before we uh, we, we can contemplate taking uh, Tranmere, taking on Tranmere here. Um, there's a good mood about the camp. Um, yes, the, the the defeat won't help today, but um, they are working hard. They're an honest, hard-working group. Um, I've really enjoyed the, the, the three weeks we've had together so far. Um, we, we, we could do it another couple of games, we could do it another couple of 90 minutes under our belt. Uh, unfortunately, we, we, we got a, a, a League Cup game next week at Preston, um, which will be a, a learning curve. It'll be a, a decent game for us. But we're, uh, we're, we're, still, we're still short, we're still short of where we would want to be, but that'll take time. Overall, so far this pre-season, what have you most been encouraged by? Um, I think the attitude, uh, the work rate, the honesty um, and the togetherness that the lads have showed early doors, early doors. And I will be honest, the first 45 minutes today really encouraged me as well. So, so that's another, another positive. I've enjoyed and really, really pleased to see so many young lads um, making an impact on the first team squad, coming into train and not looking out of place. So uh, all in all, we're we're in a decent we're in a decent uh, in a decent place. We're doing okay. We're building. We've got plenty of time uh, between now and the 12th of September to, to to build more. There will be one or two little tweaks, ins and outs possibly uh, between now and then. Um, but like any manager will tell you, he's never happy, he's never pleased. Always wanting something else. Always wanting another another player or two. But the, once the lads give me an honest, hard-working honest hard work and shift that's all I can ask them for just a bit of housekeeping to end off with today you gave the captain's armband to Ryan Sweeney can it be assumed from that that he will be the captain heading into the season I wouldn't assume anything I, I, I wouldn't assume I've got some leaders in there um, particularly me, me three centre halves today uh, my goalkeeper Steck and obviously uh, Ollie Clark who was my skipper at Bristol Rovers so uh, it would possibly be wrong of people to assume or to guess um, that that will be uh, that will be something that will evolve over the next couple of weeks. You mentioned Ollie Clark there. 
how's he doing in terms of uh, his calf injury? Well, he's been annoying me to play. He's he's wanting to play, but I ain't like I say. I ain't gonna risk anybody, and and I certainly ain't gonna. I ain't gonna put him. I, I ain't gonna put him out uh, on the pitch if, if if there's any risk. He's training. He's uh, on the pitch. He's on the grass. He's kicking a ball. He's not quite uh, up to full speed. He's not quite up to full contact. Um, that will come this week. We'll have uh, we'll have a little bit of work behind closed doors uh, at 11 v 11 possibly this week, and Ollie might join in. Um, if not, I'll save him, like I say, and I make uh, I make no bones if it buts about it. Ollie's Clark uh, is, is 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 I want them ready for September the 12th. I don't want to risk him today. I don't want to, probably won't risk him next week. Um, I want him ready for uh, for September the 12th. That's our priority, and that's uh, and that's when um, Ollie Ollie should be should be back. He'll be back before that, but that's that that's the deadline I've given him. So he, he will be back before that.